Making starch paste is very straightforward. Just mix one part by volume of starch. That can be wheat or rice starch, or in this case laundry starch, which, which is very pure wheat starch, or even wheat flour to four parts water. Purified water, such as distilled water, would be best. I use three 20 milliliter level tablespoons of starch, which is 60 milliliters, and add four times this, 240 milliliters of water. I'm going to cook the paste in a double boiler. First I'll mix the starch with water and let it sit for half an hour for the starch to start absorbing moisture. Then on a gentle heat I'll cook the starch water mix until it thickens. Just after it thickens I'll add a few drops of clove oil as a preservative. I'll be very careful not to let it boil. I'll stir it regularly until I get bored, which is usually about 10 minutes. Then I'll turn the heat off and continue to stir regularly for another 10 minutes. And then I'll transfer the paste to a sterilized jar. While I'm waiting around, I'll sterilize the jars. I do a simple scold on the jars. I know this brand of jam jar is fairly robust to temperature change, but I'll still warm the jars first, then pour boiling water into them. Try not to burn your fingers like I do. It's just starting to thicken now. Now's the time to make sure that you stir heaps to get a nice smooth paste. I've been adding oil of cloves to my paste for 30 years. So these days I think I added as much for the smell as I do for the preservative properties.
using the Thermomix means you don't have to do the tedious stirring. Also means you can let it cook longer as the Thermomix doesn't get bored. The steps are the same. I do a quick 30 second mix on speed 3 at the very start and after the starch is soaked just to make sure there isn't any sitting on the bottom. I let the machine mix for 30 minutes while the starch soaks and then I let it cook for 30 minutes at 80 degrees and finally I let it stir for 30 minutes as it cools down. It makes a very good paste. Thanks for watching. I have more information about paste and adhesives on my website dazbookbinding.com. Our kitchen window looks out over a creek. It's bone dry at present, which is making everyone, especially the local wildlife, very unhappy.